Hi there, welcome along to the Artisan Infrastructure VPDC Getting Started series. Uh, in this video, we are going to cover uh, how to deploy a VM from templates. Uh, we're going to use the public templates for this example. Um, these are not solutions, they are just simply, uh, they simply bypass the, the Windows installation pro, uh, process uh, and just give you a kind of kickstart into um, bringing a machine up in a, in a much uh, faster fashion. Um, so we'll, we'll dive right into our uh, VMs and templates view. And uh, under the uh, templates folder, which are public templates, you'll see there's a series of, uh, of templates available. We'll, we'll, we'll run through them top to bottom here. Uh, so we've got a, a 2K3 x68. This is a 2003 32-bit uh, server. 2K8 standard, 64, uh, 2008 standard server, 64 bits, and I think you can see, start to see the thread here, 2K8 standard x86, that's a 32 bit 2008 server, and this one here, uh, 2008 standard R2, 64 bits. We will be providing uh, further templates as this grows out, so you're probably uh, gonna be able to see uh, more uh, templates in the, in the live environment than you're currently seeing on this video. Uh, in addition to that, we also have some virtual rooters. This one here is the PFSense version 1.2.3 uh, for ESX, is their uh, templated version that they released. And this one is the Viada version 6 core. It's free to use. Both of these are actually free to use. And uh, we will cover more detail on support and configuration in these in, in, a, in another series, uh, probably advanced networking or something like that. Okay, let's dive straight into uh, deploying a, a VM here. So we're going to use the 2008 standard R2 64-bit. And if we have a look on the summary tab, we will see down the bottom here, we have some notes. So in this one, we can see it's a 2008 server, 64 bit, as I said, one vCPU, four gig RAM. And here is our uh, activation key. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to control C, uh, right click copy uh, that activation key. And I'm going to show you um, how to customize and inject sysprep information uh, into the deployment of this machine and also reset the SIDs. Um, this will uh, prevent any duplicate machine SIDs being present on the network, especially handy if you are looking at putting a, a domain environment in the infrastructure. Okay, so I've hit deploy, uh, deploy virtual machine from template. In here, I'm actually gonna give it the name uh, that I want the NetBIOS name, the host name of the serv server to be. Um, I'm gonna call that SRV01. And this will become clear in just a second why I've done that. Select our folder, hit next. Again, it's a familiar process if you've watched the uh, previous videos on how to create VMs. Select our uh, cluster, our resource pool, our data store, same format. And here we're going to select customize using the customization wizard. Now I'm expecting an error in the next window. In here, you can enter your uh, in, in, enter your details. We'll just throw some periods in there for the uh, purposes of the demonstration. Here is our error. This is a, a bug um, in the system. Uh, please just pass through that. It, it's it's not a concern. Uh, we select use virtual machine name. Now this is the start of the sysprep process. Uh, this will put together an answer file for you and inject that into the machine and allow that to customize. So uh, we're gonna select use virtual machine name. So that will pick up the name that we entered in the previous screens, SRV01. We're gonna hit next. And in here, we're gonna just gonna do control V. This is why we copied our key. Uh, that will uh, pop the key in for us and allow us to activate. And we're gonna throw a password in. Select our time zone. We'll go with typical settings. Now, if you um, did ha already have a, a DC, a domain controller in the environment uh, up and running, and this was an additional member server, 
uh, you could enter your domain environment information in here um, and you could actually deal with the whole joining the domain and running your postscripts and installing your applications uh, using this wizard uh, if, if you wish. And most importantly, generate new security ID SIDs. Uh, this uh, makes the machine unique within uh, the Windows domain environment. Okay, we do not power on the virtual machines at this stage. Uh, reason being, our virtual machines reside on, uh, you can see here, templates network. So if you did uh, have sysprep information that required network connectivity to a, a, a DC, it's not going to happen because your template's going to be spun up or your VM's going to be spun up on the template's network. So it's not going to be able to see your network. So just as a matter of practice, we don't power on the VMs uh, after cloning. We allow them to clone first and then we can uh, power them on afterwards. Okay, I'm gonna uh, put a pause on this part of the video and we can come back to see the VM once it's finished cloning.